<laughs> Shouts out to this girl who went from a high rise window cleaner battling depression to an mm. NFT artist earning $3 million. Holy hot damn, Papo. Mm -mm. Now, it looks like her name is Itzel Yard, known on NFT platforms as I at Shells. She says she was left broke just a couple years ago after moving from Panama to Toronto to study architectural technology. And I know how that is. I know I graduated from school, moved somewhere, bro, that's a damn near became name. homeless. Nine shells, bro. People be using who was the other bitch that, that we recently talked about? Her name was like Two Guns or some shit like that. Oh, like, shout out to Two Guns. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> shout out to her. Shout out. be going hard with their names, dog. Shit. Shout out to the names. Now, yeah, she's a 31-year-old that made the move to the U.S. in 2014, spent five years trying to make ends meet by cleaning studios, even scaling skyscrapers to scrub windows. And just before the pandemic hit, she taught herself coding, moved back to Panama, continued creating art, and then she, I guess, moved back to Toronto. And apparently she's been experimenting with digital art. She began sharing her work on Instagram in the form of stills and MP4s. And I say all that to say that... Um, yeah, she borrowed five hundred dollars, point five ETH Ethereum, so she could drop her first piece. Somebody bought it for one ether, so she doubled her money. Then later on, another one of her pieces went for twenty three Ethereum, which is thirty one hundred dollars. Another piece ended up selling for a half a million. She is getting paid off of NFTs, and again, I, I say this, and I say this to the kids too. And the kids actually just got the PlayStation back this weekend. They got in trouble like four or five months ago, and I took the play like three, four months ago. I took the PlayStation from them. They couldn't play it or whatever. Oh, you and then kidding, this man, shit, a couple uh, of months, damn. Verse. Oh yeah, I'm a just month hit on him. End. I don't. No, I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't play. I, I'm one of those people. When I say something, I'm doing that shit. It was like I told y'all, if y'all fight again, I'm taking that damn PlayStation. I don't know when you're getting back. And sure enough, I took that motherfucker, and that was one of the one of the one of Kai's Christmas wish lists. Was one of his things was to get the PlayStation back. Oh. Oh, and he made him he, waste a wish to get his shit back versus you're he, horrible. <laughs> he did not get it on Christmas. I can tell you that. But they <laughs> end up getting it this weekend because, again, like we all had COVID, so we couldn't go play yeah. any actual games. So it was like you guys, you know, can play games in the house if you will. But I say all that to say that I was excited with getting them off of video games other than them, you know, you know, playing basketball because then it opened up their artistic abilities and they were drawing, painting, they're getting canvases, they're painting stuff and all that. And I told them, like, keep working at this and eventually you'll be able to figure out how to get the artwork down. You'll figure out what your style is. You can eventually turn these into NFTs and y'all can get paid. Like, so again, I'm, I'm very big on, and I'd say that to all the family or whatever, when Christmas or birthdays come up, they're, oh, let me buy them some toys. Do not buy them some toys. I would give them some sports stuff so they could be athletic or get them some art stuff so they could be creative. We're not wasting our time on games unless, I don't know. Anyway, but I say all that to say, well, no, I feel, I feel you, brother. No, yeah, yeah. A treat is a treat, but obviously, yeah. you know, getting. I thought you was honestly t forcing them to fucking play basketball. You're trying to get your fucking. Uh, what was uh, Michael Jackson's that his name? Bo Jackson? No, uh, oh, no, Jackson? no. I'm getting, no, I'm getting my Levar Ball on. I'm telling you, Levar Ball <laughs> ain't got nothing on me. Them ball boys ain't got nothing on them people's boys. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. Y'all watch, watch. Ten, twelve. Yeah, you heard it here for first. God I'm bless. like, Kai and Isaiah, better than Michael Jordan. LeBron James ain't ooh. got nothing on them. I, ooh, I can't wait. Anyway. Ooh. But no, it's one of those things, again, like the robots are taking all the jobs. So, you know, do sports, do something athletic, learn how to code where you can build a robot. You got to get away from all these truck driving jobs and these customer service jobs. All mm. these shits is going away in 20 years. Like, I, I, I feel real bad for a lot of, like, the truck driving industry because I know a bunch of people who, like, they grad they got out of high school and they went to truck driving because you can get up to making six figures as a truck driver depending on what you're doing. You don't need a college education. But in about 10 to 15 years, why am I going to pay a human to do that when I can have a robot drive cross country that can drive 24 hours a day, ain't got to take a break, a lunch, a rest, nothing like that, and I can get stuff moved a hell of a lot quicker. So, yeah. <laughs>